While many believe the sole player to be Boston Dynamics when it comes to building advanced and smart robots that can operate in any environment, this seems to no longer be the case. Elon Musk's Tesla set out to revolutionize the robotics industry with a general-purpose robot that could do anything you would expect a human to be able to do. And the most unbelievable parts is the fact that an early version of that robot is about to release by next year, 2022, and also, that unlike Boston Dynamics Atlas robot, that it will look completely human. Welcome to today's episode of AI News. In this episode, I will show you the robot Tesla is building at the moment, with what advanced technology they may manage to beat Boston Dynamics, and finally, by what time you could expect robots like this to be commonplace in pretty much any household or business. Elon Musk, the CEO of Tesla, revealed the Tesla Bot, a humanoid robot that uses the same artificial intelligence as Tesla's fleet of self-driving cars. During Musk's presentation, a dancer costumed as a Tesla bot did a little odd dance, but no working version of the robot was shown. Outside of a few PowerPoint slides, Musk provided little information on the extremely human-looking Tesla bot at the end of Tesla's AI Day presentation. He claims the 5'8 robot would weigh 125 pounds and be made of lightweight materials. Its head will be equipped with the autopilot cameras that Tesla vehicles use to assess their surroundings, as well as a screen to show information. It will be controlled inside by Tesla's full self-driving computer. It's meant to be pleasant and let people navigate through a world designed for humans. The robot was revealed during a 90-minute presentation showcasing some of Tesla's artificial intelligence advancements, including the Dojo supercomputer, which helps train cars to traverse metropolitan streets without human assistance. It's logical to apply it to a humanoid shape. Musk took care to stress out that you could both outpace and overpower the Tesla bot on three slides that listed the robot's planned specs. He has previously spoken out against the use of robots as weapons and warned of the dangers that artificial intelligence might bring, calling it the greatest peril we face as a society. I guess if they're your incredibly slow, easy to overpower robots, the dangers are reduced. During a question and answer session following the lecture, Musk emphasized, we should be scared about AI. At Tesla, Elon Musk and his employees are aiming to build usable AI that people enjoy and that is unambiguously wonderful. The Tesla bot, according to one presentation, will remove dangerous, repetitive, boring jobs, and Musk gave an example, saying the robot might be ordered to go to the supermarket and acquire the following items. Although such a work is not extremely hazardous, you may find it monotonous and uninteresting. Musk, who is known for making big predictions about the future, riffed on how he sees Tesla bot impacting the future of employment as well. This, I believe, will have a significant impact. Physical labor will essentially be a choice in the future. You can do it if you want to, but you won't have to. You might wonder how Tesla is supposed to beat or even match other robotic companies such as Boston Dynamics which have been in the industry of creating advanced robots for more than a decade and haven't been able to show anything on the level of what Elon Musk is promising for next year. There are a few pointers thought which lead me to believe that Tesla might be able to pull it off. The first one is that they'll have access to the most powerful artificial intelligence supercomputer which is built specifically for training the world's most advanced AI algorithms. This alone might or might not push it ahead of any robot that is out there at the moment. The second reason why it might work out would be the fact that Tesla is already building some of the most advanced real-world artificial intelligence in the form of Tesla's full self-driving cars. This AI model is probably the most advanced algorithm which the general population actually has access to. Porting it over to regular human tasks is unlikely to be too difficult. The last and maybe most telling point is the fact that this is Tesla since they've already superseded all expectations anyone in their industry ever had. Many scientists and researchers believe that artificial intelligence on par with human intellect might be created within the next decade. Understanding human-level AI will be a significant scientific achievement and may well happen by 2030 with a 25% chance, or by 2040 with a 50% chance, or never, with a 10% chance said Richard Sutton, a professor of computer science at the University of Alberta, in a 2017 lecture. What should business leaders take away from this discussion? Given the potentially significant inflection point that AGI may bring about in society, 
even a modest chance of reaching AGI in the next decade merits paying attention to advancements in the subject. There is a small field of research that, although pursuing lofty goals like human-level intelligence, is also sufficiently grounded in science and engineering techniques to make actual technological progress. That's where the sweet spot is. To appreciate the difficulty of obtaining real human-level intelligence, consider some of the skills that true AGI will need to master. Consider the following scenario. Perception through the senses which are pretty much standard for us regular humans. While deep learning has aided significant advancements in computer vision, AI systems are still a long way from achieving human-like sensory perception. Self-driving car systems have been misled by little bits of black tape or stickers on a red stop sign, for example, despite having been taught using deep learning. The color of the stop sign is still visible to any person, but the deep learning-based system is tricked into believing it is something different. In addition, current computer vision algorithms struggle to extract depth and three-dimensional information from static pictures. A set of keys may be easily retrieved from a pocket by any human. Few of us would entrust that duty to any of the robot manipulators or humanoid hands we've seen. This issue is being researched by experts in the area. In a recent demonstration, a robot hand was taught to solve a Rubik's Cube using reinforcement learning. Claude Shannon created a cube-solving robot decades ago, but this video shows the skill required to train robot fingers on a single hand to operate a complicated item. It's difficult to estimate how long away such a future is, but there's a big difference between showing off a few PowerPoint slides and really having a functional humanoid robot. It'll be a long time before you can grab your bread and milk from the Tesla bot, but Musk says a prototype will be available next year. Of course, Elon Musk has always been overly optimistic about timeframes and this project might or might not fall victim to this. Although one thing is for sure, since AI Day was mainly a recruitment event for Tesla, Ending on such a high note will surely give Tesla a lot of new talent to work on making this a reality. Uh, we think we'll probably have uh, a prototype sometime next year uh, that uh, is, basically looks like this. And uh, navigate through a world uh, built for humans and uh, eliminate dangerous, repetitive and boring tasks. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's uh, around, around uh, five foot eight. Um, uh, has sort of a, a screen where the head is for useful information, um, but it's otherwise basically got the uh, autopilot system in it, so it's uh, got cameras, got eight cameras and full self-driving computer, and making use of all of the same tools that we use in the car. So, um, I mean, things that I think that are really hard about uh, having a useful humanoid robot is can it navigate through the world without being expl explicitly trained? Uh, I mean, can, without explicit, like, uh, line-by-line line instructions. Um, can, you, can you talk to it and say, you know, please uh, pick up that bolt um, and uh, attach it to the car with that wrench, and it should be able to do that. Um, it should be able to, you know, please, you know, please go to the store and get me the following groceries. So, what is your opinion on the newest venture of Elon Musk and Tesla? Do you believe that Tesla's vision of a humanoid robot being commonplace anywhere where a human could be or do you believe that this is just science fiction and is simply meant to entice scientists to come and work at Tesla? Do you even want there to be robots which can do anything a human can do and would you work alongside one on even terms? Please tell us your opinion in the comment section below. I would love to hear what you have to say about it. Thank you for watching AI News. We consistently report on the newest technologies that are shaping the future of our world. We'd appreciate you subscribing and watching our other videos. See you around and take care.